Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk East Stroudsburg University Warriors football. Joining us is quarterback Matt Soltis. Well, Matt, you continue to tear it up. Uh, more importantly for you guys, you get a couple wins in a row. And uh, a little bit of a back-and-forth affair with Lockhaven. Let's talk about the, the recent victory this past weekend. Yeah, uh, we came out a little slow. Um, they had us in uh, end of the half. They were up, and uh, we knew we had to come out, play our A game, and try to come out with a win, and that's what we did. Well, Matt, you uh, put together the wins. Edinburgh was the first one, then this one. Uh, Shippensburg is going to be this weekend, so it just gets a little bit more challenging. But this is PSAC football. Yeah, to, uh, any team you play in the PSAC, uh, it's pretty much like a Grand Prix. you got to come out and play your best because you don't know how they're going to open up. And, uh, I mean, it seems like all the teams this year are pretty even talented, so you just got to come out and play your best each and every game and just try to build up win after win. Matt, do you think at all about the records that you're setting there at East Stroudsburg University, or, or do you just go out and try to win some games for your teammates? Uh, not really. Uh, I kind of look at each game one by one individually, try to just come out with a win and just prepare for the next one. Uh, what we're doing here offensively is, is crazy with all the weapons I have and the line I got. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't really look, for, look at the records when I'm in season, I mean, I'll kind of just see how I did afterwards and see what I can actually build on. Well, interesting that uh, Jimmy Terwilliger is on the staff this year. Of course, his dad's been a part of the program uh, for almost uh, forever. And Coach Dowd has been there for like 50 years. But uh, tell us about the coaching staff and, and getting along with everybody. Uh, we got a great co- coaching staff. I mean, uh, Coach Dowd, like you said, has been there forever. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, probably the only guy that you'll know that probably smiles every day and probably happy about 95% of the time. Uh, then you got Coach Twilliger, uh, our offense coordinator. He's, he's another great guy, uh, offense mastermind. Um, love spending every day with him, watching film, doing all that. Uh, then we got Coach Santella, he's a line coach, best line coach in the nation. I mean, uh, he gets the guys where they go and shows them how to block it. And, I mean, I could, couldn't ask for anyone better. And then having Jimmy join us, uh, he's a lot on the defense with Coach Green. Uh, they got a good scheme going over there. And, uh, I mean, I just try to get as much knowledge as I can from every coach on our staff and try to apply that to my game. And Jimmy helps out a lot because he ripped, ripped up defenses when he was playing. So just take his knowledge and apply it to my own Matt Soltis joining us here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers as we talk East Stroudsburg University Warriors football. Uh, Matt, for you, uh, when you were picking a college and you finally decided it was East Stroudsburg University, tell us about that process, and I'm sure you're pretty happy you went there. Yeah, I had, uh, I had a, a pretty good amount of schools looking at me coming out of uh, high school. Uh, my high school team wasn't really that good. We only had like a five and five record and my junior we only won one game so i mean i was uh, i sent my tape out everywhere had a couple of schools looking at me finally got offers from james madison delaware uh albany and east Strasburg. so you I mean i visited all those schools and I, i've been coming up to east Strasburg forever so i mean i fell in love with the place and i, I love to hunt and fish so i do that around here and it's pretty much i i fell in love with the place so that's why i picked it Matt, how about uh, you get back to some of the guys and the relationships have you have on your team? You got a, a guy like Robert Healy in the backfield who's doing a heck of a job. He's setting records as well back there. Oh my, yeah, he's he's a great player too. Uh, definite dual threat. I mean, catching the ball out of you know receiver and running the ball out of being a running back, he, he can honestly do it all. I mean, he's throwing passes here at a wildcat and. It's just, you give him the ball, you don't know whether it's going to be a huge play or just a big game. I mean, he's he's very exciting to watch. He's a guy who has 300 receiving yards and 300 rushing yards so far this year. And I think uh, there are some records that he was able to set last year as well. Uh, Matt, how about that receiving core? Do you have uh, 
kind of little variety, everything, big, tall, fast guys, short guys that could run, a big tight end. Tell us about those uh, weapons that you could get the ball to when you're throwing for over 400 yards a game. Some games you're averaging uh, somewhere around 330, 340. Yeah, uh, I couldn't ask for a better receiving core. I mean, I got some of my closest friends on uh, with Joe Welk and John Schnars. Uh, he, uh, Healy's out there along with him. Gerard Wendowski's out there. I mean, John... John's like my go-to guy. He's, I don't know how many, he is 100 catches by now. Uh, well, he's, he may be small, but he's probably one of the fastest guys on the field at all time. Uh, and Gerard, Gerard runs great routes. And, I mean, I couldn't ask for anyone better as throw is. They're always in the spot I want them to be. And the chemistry I have with all of them is beyond better than anything I could ask for. Matt, let's head off the field for a little bit here and talk a little bit about your major. Tell us about what you're studying and uh, and how much fun you're having doing that. Um, business management major. Um, in my last semester here, so I mean, it's been the best best five years of my life, four and a half. I mean, I'm just I just love it. I don't I don't know what I want to do out of college yet. I mean, I was hoping to get into coaching, but uh, I guess we'll see where that goes. And Matt, for you, uh, as far as your family, talk a little bit about uh, people coming to the game, supporting you, and, and how you got to the point that you're at there at East Stroudsburg University, setting all kind of records. Oh, I, I got a. We, my whole family has a huge tailgate party almost every game. Uh, my parents, I don't think they've missed the game. Uh, my dad used to play here back in 1982. Uh, he was a quarterback here. Uh, my two brothers. One just graduated from East Strasburg, and the other actually just came to East Strasburg. He's on the team with me. Uh, so he's playing with me while, I mean, I have aunts, uncles, cousins coming to the game. There's usually 20, 25 people at every game. Uh, and it's, it's it's an honor to see, to have that many people come for you to watch you play and support you. And, I mean, just the, the whole, all the players' parents, they have a huge tailgate party, so it's, it's pretty cool to go after the game and spend some time with them and stuff. How about sharing some stories with your dad as far as uh, playing for Coach Danny Dowds and now you're playing for him and uh, just some of the things, how the campus has changed over the years. I'm sure your dad kind of said, wow, hey, look at this building. I remember back in the day it looked like this. Oh, yeah, he tells me loads of stories. I mean, he would tell me things about Coach Dowds and then, Coach Dowds would have, like, the same sayings, uh, like, tips of the day he'll give us. Just basically life lessons, and it's it's all the same. It's just how to live your life right and how to be the best guy you can. And, uh, I mean, some of the buildings on campus, uh, like, there's a building on campus he used to live in. It was converted into, a, like, a school building now. It's all classrooms. And it's just the change that it goes through in that amount of years is just amazing to him. So, Matt, when you talk about getting into coaching down the road, is that uh, kind of looking at some, some coordinator stuff? Uh, does it matter what level it's on? Is it kind of just fitting in at the right school? Uh, I mean, I would love to coach an offense, uh, be an offense coordinator somewhere, pro- preferably at college level. I mean, it doesn't matter which level. I just I, I love the atmosphere of college football. Uh, it's just I, I feel it's better than – anything anything else better than high school better than nfl so i would rather end up at uh i would say d1 or d1 double a college and then how about as far as the rest of the business on the field this season at east stroudsburg university you mentioned every week's a grind shippensburg this week then the schedule will continue to uh, move along and you'll get some big games too along the way but uh, i know you guys would like to to try to put something special together if you can the last six seven weeks here Oh, definitely. I mean, we're going to take it one game at a time, and hopefully that'll be win after win after win. So we're trying to accomplish our goals from last season. Uh, right after right after last season, we made our goals for this season, and so far, so far, uh, we haven't reached one of them. I mean, we lost the first two, but we still got this game coming up, and then after this game, we'll prepare for the next one. After that game, we'll prepare for the next one. It's just going to be a step-by-step process. A little home cooking this weekend uh, will help, and uh, Matt, continued success, and keep breaking those records, and the wins is what you're uh, you're rooting for there at East Stroudsburg University. We appreciate your time. Oh, hey, thanks for having me. Matt Soltis, quarterback at East Stroudsburg University, the Warriors playing for legendary coach Denny Dowds here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.